I don't know where the defense was. Definitely was a bust, uh, an assignment. It's a good time to uh, to pull the trigger on it, but uh, that's two. Go Jackets. to the behind the scenes of the morning announcements. Um, we haven't started yet, but I'm going to show you <laughs> what goes on in some of the equipment we have and where we all sit and stand, okay? Okay, this is where me and Andrew sit for the morning announcements. And surprise, this is actually a green screen, if you didn't know that. And then we got some lights over here. We got two big lights. And then we have we go this way, we have a TV where usually our faces are on it. We can watch what we look like and fix our hair and stuff. And then this over here is usually, there's two chairs here, this is where usually the college football picks are. Most people don't know, but we always record the announcements before homeroom around 8.10 and it usually takes about 30 minutes for the full thing to be put together and then sent out for all the homeroom teachers. So me and Andrew are, are usually the ones that are on camera, but we usually have four to five people that work behind the scenes. We have um, one person that's usually on camera, and then the others are usually behind the, the wall or window on the other side working on sound and the green screen and stuff like that live as we record it. And so that's how we usually get it out pretty quick. This is my um, second year doing it. And I'm a sophomore, and then Andrew is a senior, and he has done it all four years. So he start. We both started when we were freshmen, and we've been doing it ever since. My name is Deidre Raspberry. I teach math at Calhoun High School. How long have you been teaching? Well, this is my 18th year as a teacher. I taught for five years and then I stopped teaching to raise my children for several years and now this is my 13th year back. What inspired you to teach? 
I had two wonderful teachers. One, uh, my senior year of high school, her name was Miss Quarrel, and she was a great math teacher. And then my first year in college, and uh, they just inspired me to realize that I enjoyed math and that I wanted to teach others math so that hopefully they were realized they were good at it. How does it feel being teacher of the year? Humbling. I felt very humbled that my peers realized how hard I worked to make my students successful in math. And what study tips would you give for students in a math class? Don't procrastinate. Make sure you do your homework because that's your practice time so you would be successful. and today I will be interviewing the cast of Freaky Friday. Let's begin. Hello, I'm Anna Catherine Hayes. I'm a sophomore and I'm going to be playing Ellie and Cass B in Freaky Friday. Hello, my name is Catherine Gavinian and I'm a sophomore and I'm playing Catherine Blake in Cass B of Freaky Friday. I'm Adrian Gallin, a sophomore, and I play Adam and Cass B of Freaky Friday. Hello, my name is Porter. I'm Porter Ledford. I am a, a, a 10th grader and I am Cast A, Adam, and Freaky Friday. Hey, I'm Chloe. I am a sophomore, and I'm dance core for Cast A of Freaky Friday. So, what is your favorite part about your role in Freaky Friday? My favorite part about my role is how different it is from past roles that I've gotten. Um, I usually get uh, casted as a love interest, but this time I'm more of a sarcastic teenager, which is different from past experiences. My favorite part about playing Catherine is definitely the diversity of the acting because not only do I get to act like a mom and have a family, but I also get to switch during the show and act like a teenager. And I just think that like being able to just act as like more than just one like certain character trait, I think that's really cool and really fun. Uh, my favorite part of Adam's role is his strange obsession with sandwiches. I really hope I get to eat one on stage. That would be magnificent. I'd have to say my favorite part about my role isn't necessarily the role itself, it's just the experience all together. Like the being with all your friends and just trying to make something with them and stuff, just being a part of that, it's really fun to do. About being in dance court is um, I love to dance <laughs> and I've been dancing since I was really young. And so I love to do it with a big crowd and like the fact that I get to mix acting and dancing and just put it all together and singing, of course, it makes it super fun and I love the like feeling of performing. So can you explain the one act competition for those who have not been? The one act competition is a competition where a bunch of schools come together and all perform their shows. You can either do a musical or just a straight play and um, they all have to fit under the time limit of 55 minutes. They all get judged by a panel of judges and then you place and you either get, you don't place or you can get like first, second, or third. First place goes to state though. So what is your favorite line or scene in the show? Uh, my favorite one of Adam's lines, it's kind of sounds weird, but it's, oh, yeah, she uh, check it. So, how will the shows be different this year due to COVID-19? Um, what's different about this year, obviously we're having two casts. So that's throwing things up, or mixing things up, It's probably a better way of putting it. Anyways, um, it's definitely different. Uh, our class is pretty used to it. All throughout middle school we've had double casting, so it's going to be kind of like that. Um, let's see, and then obviously with the COVID outbreak, I have to take more precautions than usual um, with spreading out and wearing masks on stage and stuff like that. But hopefully we won't be having to do like these weird masks during the actual performance. So yeah. Um, as for audience goes, I'm pretty sure they have spread out seating for that too. So. 
What has been your favorite memory with the cast so far this year? My favorite memory with the cast this year is when we were practicing with the magical hourglass, but it was really Chloe's water bottle, and uh, it fell on the stage and spilled everywhere. So, can you tell me what Freaky Friday is about? Freaky Friday is a musical about a teenage girl, Ellie, and her mom, Catherine. They have contrasting lifestyles and a difficult relationship. When they get into a fight and break a magical hourglass, they switch bodies. As both of them try to survive in each other's life, they realize just how special they are to each other. Come watch Freaky Friday to see how they switch back. So, when will the shows take place? Our shows are November 12th through the 16th, and they're not at the same time as One Act because One Act had to be moved to the spring because of COVID. But if you want to buy tickets to come and see it, which you should, they are in the link in the Instagram, the drama Instagram, maybe you'll put it on screen, the Calhoun Theater Instagram. And um, they might also be on the Calhoun City Schools drama like website, but I'm not sure about that. My name is Charles Todd. I'm the water sports teacher here at Calhoun High School and with the Calhoun Aquatic Center. How long have you been teaching slash coaching? I've been coaching swimming since 1981, before many of you guys were even thought about being, or probably before your parents were born. It's my 39th year. I started here in 2016, so this is technically my fifth year. What do you coach and teach uh, swimming diving water polo and i teach the water sports classes and i try to get them to teach lessons to the pre-k so i do some lessons so i'm in the water quite a bit on the year what made you want to be a swim coach i grew up swimming in the chattanooga area and um Played football as well. I ended up going to college playing football to Jacksonville State University. And uh, while there, I decided to become a teacher and coach and uh, started working as a uh, AAU coach for um, Aniston YMCA. And I, I started coaching when I was 18 years old. Can you tell us about your career pathway and what students should expect to learn? Um, I teach the law and public safety pathway and we start out with the basics of the fundamentals of law, the history of law and where our laws in the U.S. came from and how they developed over the years and also how careers in public safety have developed throughout the centuries. What careers does this pathway help prepare students for? Law enforcement to firefighters and um, attorneys, judges, paralegals, um, let's see what else, EMTs is also considered part of public safety. What are the things that surprise students the most in your class? It's probably the complexity of the laws and how every little law that's done, any court case that goes up to the Supreme Court can have a huge impact on law enforcement and what officers can do. Why did you choose this pathway? Uh, I wanted to learn more about uh, the public safety and the procedures that are used during that. Because I thought it would be really interesting. I chose this pathway because I'm interested in being a cop. What is the most interesting thing that you've learned in law and justice? Uh, how to handcuff people, that was pretty, that was pretty cool. Uh, how to take a fingerprint. The most interesting thing I've done was hand handcuffing other people. How will this class help you after you graduate? Um, it'll help me better understand the criminal justice system. I'll understand my rights and know what to do if I'm in a, in a law type situation. This will help me, this class will help me after I graduate if I become a cop in the future. Hello, my name is Jared Donis and I'm here with Gabe from the Calum Swim Team. Today I'm going to be asking him some questions about the 2020-2021 swim season. Hello Gabe. Um, who's the coach on the swim team? So our coach is Coach Charles Todd. He's the main coach. So we have some other side coaches. What do you like about your coach? He's an absolute unit. Anyone gets in his way, it's over. 
And who are y'all facing in y'all's next meet? So our first meet, uh, I know some other small teams are coming, but I'm pretty sure Rome is uh, the biggest team that's coming that we're facing, and probably uh, opposition-wise, the biggest one. When does the swim team have practice? Uh, I'm pretty sure that normal swim practice is from 3.30 to 5.30. Uh, and then if you are a part of the other team, the Nitros, it's from 4.30 to 7.30. Thank you, Gabe, for your time. This is just a short interview. Uh, thanks for having me on. And remember, kids, go Jackets. So you're going to design a lab today to test this phenomenon. Okay? You're going to design part of this. I'm going to follow y'all's procedure. Now given, I'm going to nudge you in the right direction so I don't get my hand blown off. But I'm going to let y'all choose how you want to operate this lab for all intent purposes. Okay? So here's what I would like for you to do. I'm going to carve this pumpkin. And I'm going to carve it, I'm going to gut it, and I'm going to get it ready to roll. While I'm doing, it's going to take me about 10 minutes to do that. I want you to discuss with the groups around you. Okay? So in your general area, discuss with those around you. What procedures should we incorporate or follow that could use our, our materials listed to test this phenomenon? Tell me again, what are we mixing inside? What are we putting inside? Calcium, calcium carbide. Calcium carbide, which is made up of what? Calcium, calcium, and, calcium and carbon. Calcium and carbon. What water, else are we mixing? Water. 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 Elementary so okay. fire. Which fire. is going to make what? Gas. It's going to make the gas, and the gas is what creates that reaction. Once I put the water in there, do I want to light the, the lighter in immediately? No. No, why? Yeah. I, want, I want to let the reaction take place and let what build up inside? Yeah. The gas, good. All right, so let me make, there's a hole. All right. All right, so count to 40 for me. That is why you follow what? The Safety protocols. Safety protocols and procedures. Do not try this at home.